Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include EU bans salmon fishing in the River Severn Turkey calls for greater expansion of the EU Insurance companies threaten to limit guarantees on savings Plus, corporate social responsibility Business bureaucracy is back on the table I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit Nightly News First, from our homepage, traditional lave fishing could be banned under EU law. This article considers EU legislation which could ban this practice. The story has plenty to uh, smile about, as once again we catch our Euro Bureau kleptocrats being divorced from reality. According to the Environmental Agency, up to 15,000 salmon are caught in season in the Upper Severn. The lave fishermen say the 81 that they landed last season represents only 0.3%. Fisherman Mike Evans, 59, said that's not really decimating the stocks, is it? Well, Mike, apparently that's not for us to decide. Now, can I see your ID papers, please? This is a corker of an article. One of our learned comrades from Turkey has announced that the EU should expand further to draw it to a critical size to enable it to weather the 21st century. Well, clearly this fellow has been at the Turkish coffee and the hish hash bong. What a great idea. Let's get some more poor countries from further east or south then. Let me just take a look at the map. What's east of Turkey? Ah, yes. Ooh, Iran. That's going to create waves with Baza and his US-EU free trade deal. OK, well, what's south of the Med? Libya. Hmm, that's going to be tricky. What about the Falkland Islands, then? The EU's insurance watchdog has called action to counter the negative effects of low interest rates. This article looks at the negative side effects which ultimately hurt prudent savers and also diminishes income returns that insurers derive from government bonds. Of course, the bond market bubble collapse that Max Kaiser pointed to yesterday in our video library won't help the plaintiffs in this story much either. The EU has its sights on further legislation in respect to corporate social responsibility. This article is surprisingly readable considering it's been etched by the orc scribes of the EU Commission. However, there is a downside. The report, which has been adopted as usual without fuss or yap from the nodding dogs in the hemicircle, targets all businesses small and large, and the report states that the Commission believes increases in regulatory measures will restore confidence and deliver economic growth. I'm not sure my business colleagues will see it that way. Today in our video library, as bond yields rise and UK credit rating tumbles from AAA, Russia Today put this report about the issues that were coming in the bond markets and how this will affect property prices. Note our report on insurance companies yowling over debt and bond yields. Is this video of Max Kaiser discussing the bond markets and troubled Eurozone back in November coming to pass? That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the EUnit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Finally, our The Word program is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.